Yo, have I got a video for you today? This one is concerning solid state drives, uh, external versus internal versus normal hard drives uh, on the USB 3, USB 2 port and SATA ports, etc. So, right, let's get into it. Oh, that is when I can operate this properly. So, Basically what happened, I've bought this Optiplex Dell shitbox to try and turn it into some sort of gaming or streaming PC. And while I was messing around, I've done a bit of benchmarking. And here we can see some results on a program called Crystal Mark 7, which measures your read and write speeds of different blocks of data. First box here is the internal drive that it came with, which was a one terabyte spinning disk um, <clears throat> and it's basically got nothing on it now because I've formatted it so there's nothing on there so these numbers are perhaps a little bit higher than they would be if there was uh, things on the disk second box here is the drive that it's now running on which was meant to be a 120 gigabyte solid state a data drive I think it is uh, I cloned that one onto there. It's got a couple of programs added on, so it's basically a clean Windows 10, but they are 28%. You can see that the figures here are not much better than the normal drive, and there is a reason for that, which I'll get into in a little while, but like you can see here is considerably better. Underneath, this is an external drive. This is a one terabyte samsung t7 shield solid state drive and this is on the usb 3 port and that's good enough uh to play games and things on um like my laptop the hard drive's nearly foot well it's quite full so i ain't got room to put more games on i don't want to flip and take it to bits and mess around changing the m2 drive that's in there at the moment so i'll just put my games on this plug them in that has got three uh, USB 3.1 when I've measured it on the same benchmark to be honest with you it's negligible there's not a lot of difference so USB 3 if you're going to use an external solid state drive plenty fast enough um, and then this one here same drive again but that was using the USB 2 port because this Optiplex has only got two USB 3's the rest of the ports are all USB 2, so I chucked it in there just to see what it would be like. And as you can see, USB 2 not really going to be good enough for doing um, anything that needs any sort of rapid transfer. And then, if we go here, this is the result from the internal drive when I plugged it in the correct SATA port. Um, I didn't realise that not all of the ports on these optiplex motherboards are sata 3 some of them must only be sata 2 or sata 1 <clears throat> so uh when i was swapping bits about taking the hard drive caddy and things out i plugged the internal drive into the port that the other one was on i think that's that was blue as well if i remember rightly and as you can see the results are a lot better a bit better than the external drive so there you go that's comparing all the different, well, a few different drive combinations you can have and the data transfer rates. So, yeah, if you want to buy yourself, if you're wondering what to do with regards to getting yourself a different hard drive, um, yeah, hopefully that will help you decide. But, yeah, I personally think if you want to play games from an external drive, as long as you've got a USB 3 port and a decent solid state, you'll be golden. Right, thank you very much. Bye-bye.